setting up Google Chrome OS Flex. Hey there, this is uh, Tom with Tom's Tech Show today. Um, and I just dropped some videos over on my talk show about what's going on in Canada. Some crazy, crazy things you want to talk about that head on over there. Uh, but today we're talking about Google OS Flex. Now this is a new version, new kind of distribution of Google uh, Chrome OS. Um, I've got um, old, some, you know, my father-in-law, we got him a Chromebook just to, it makes it easy. Can't download anything crazy, can't do anything, you know, that's going to make it destroy the thing. And then if we need to get it back, we can just, you know, do the clean wipe and boom, logs in and everything's back. Makes it real nice and easy. Um, but I've wanted to do that. I mean, I've got a an HP uh, Stream 14 here that um, it had Windows on it and I had to load... It, which was horrible. I mean, I don't know why you would anybody would want run Windows on that. That thing is just just bad from the get go. Um, I, so it's got Linux Mint on it, runs beautifully, no problem. But I would like to run, you know, get some systems that run. Just can I just get a base system for a couple hundred bucks for somebody and load Chrome OS on it and just create my own Chromebook? You know, they've been, you know. I need to be able to do this, you know, it would be very beneficial. Well, now we can. So Chrome OS Flex allows us to do that. So it's a free upgrade. I've been waiting for Macs, PCs, and Macs, which is amazing. Uh, you can load it on your Mac. They have the uh, list of uh, systems that you can put it on. So Acer, Vantec, HP, uh, Panasonic. Uh, I almost thought that said Maiden Forum, but it's Miz Forum. But who knows what that is? It's a mini PC. Okay. But we're just going to try it on anything. Just give it a shot uh, kind of thing. So uh, instructions are pretty quick and easy. So we need a USB stick. So I've got this little, uh, these are little tiny miniature micro sand disk things um, that I've used for years. So I'm going to use one of those. Uh, so let's jump over to step two here. Uh, we need Chrome from the Chrome Web Store. We need the recovery utility, and if you click on that, um, it will take you to the Chrome Web Store, and you can, uh, I already have it installed, so I don't need to install it again. Pretty straight and easy, and here it is. It's the uh, Chromebook recovery media utility. So uh, we click Get Started. Uh, you can, enter in the model number of Chromebook you want to recover, or we can select from model list. Now from here, we want to come down and go Chrome OS Flex, and the product is Chrome OS Flex. Even this say is, you know, developer unstable, but that's just, we know it's just a new thing. So we hit continue, and we select our SanDisk Cruiser Fit, and then we hit continue, and then it will erase that, and then put that um, Chrome OS Flex on there. Well, I've already completed that. That takes about 20 to 30 minutes or so to get that done. Um, I've already gone through that and gotten that done. So we don't need to uh, do it again. So let's just pull my little USB stick out of here. There we go, beep, beep. All right, now, okay, now we've got the USB loaded and it's here. We can click and get started. And we can say install it onto this system or I can come down here and click try it first. Click next. We need to connect to a Wi-Fi. Go. Connect. And now we are at better log on screen. We have to agree to the terms. 
Now, as you or a child, we're going to pick you. Can you uh, email? Next. Yes, application uh, code. I have some two factor here. And here's my code. Next. a little bit. Connected and logged in. This is running off of the USB stick, so it's going to take a little bit to do the first login. It says sync your Chrome device. So, uh, data collection will continue. Loading Google Assistant, so that is also built in, just like a regular Chromebook. Okay, Google, we're going to do that for right now. Now my phone is going off. Thanks. Started. Boom. Now we're in. This is a setup test system. That menu, just like, like a regular Chromebook. We can now download apps, do all regular kind of Chromebook things here. Used it works pretty well with a uh, touch screen. This is a touch screen, so I can pull that up on a browser, go to Google, do whatever, or download some apps. Calendar. Change your time to easy. Month. All this stuff works. Darn good. Some of the targets I think. All. Oh. Oh. All up and running. Now you can take this and go ahead and install it and then be able to run it and your Chromebook. All right. Here we go. That is installing and using Chrome OS Flex. I did have another USB stick here that I had installed this on and it would never load and stuff. So I don't know if this USB stick is bad or just it wasn't playing nice with with the system. Um, so I used, I pulled out a different one and was using that and now it's all working fine. I may have Eventually, that has Windows 11 on it, uh, so that's why I didn't actually load it straight on there. But I'm going to try and get it on that HP 14 because it's touchscreen and everything else, and it's kind of Chromebook oriented. But it's been being pesty, so it hasn't been able to do it yet. Uh, but anyway, that's Chrome OS Flex. Um, works pretty good. Nice way to turn any kind of any laptop you want into a Chromebook. If you can get it work, you can try it first on the USB stick and say, hmm. 
Wi-Fi works. Okay, I can log in and all that, which is nice. And then once you get that done, okay, now you can install it. And boom, there you go. If you got a little bit older system, then maybe you just want to revitalize and recharge somehow. Boom, Chrome OS Flex. It's a great way to go. All right, thanks for watching. Take care. Thank <music> you.